Hello everyone, my name is Sam and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a VPN connection using static point-to-point -point IPsec VTI tunnels. This is the network topology I'm going to use for this demonstration. I have two routers, router R1 and R2 and I have the IP addresses assigned onto the interfaces of the routers. Do show IP interface brief and on R2 do show IP interface brief. Router 1 can ping router R2 do ping 192.168.1.2 okay the first thing to do to create a VPN connection is to create an ISECM policy on both the routers so I'm gonna say crypto ISECM policy 100 encryption is gonna be AES 128 authentication pre-share hashing is SHA I'm gonna use Diffie-Hellman group 2 and the lifetime is gonna be 86,400 seconds now I need to apply the same configuration on router R2 so I'm going to say do show run section crypto I'm going to copy this from here hop onto router 2 and paste it here right the next thing uh, I'm going to create a pre-shared key on both the routers so I'll say crypto ICCAM key 0 Cisco is my key and the address is 192.168.1.2 on R2 crypto ICCAM key 0 Cisco address is going to be 192.168.1.1 okay next I'm going to create a transform set on both the routers so the command for this is going to be crypto IPsec transform set I'm going to call, I'm going to call it as trans ESP AES 128 ESP SHA HMAC enter and uh, the same thing on router R2 crypto IPsec transform set trans ESP ESP AES 128 ESP ACH HMAC mode tunnel exit next we need to create an IPsec profile on both the routers so I'm gonna say crypto IPsec profile I'm gonna call it as VTI I'm gonna set the transform set as trans and I'm gonna set the security association lifetime seconds 86400 and the PFS group 2 exit same thing on router R2 crypto IPsec profile VTI set transform set trans set security association lifetime seconds 86400 and the PFS group 2 next oh, we need to create tunnel interfaces on both the routers so I'm gonna go on to router R1 and say interface tunnel 0 and IP unnumbered fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 you can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and the tunnel source is going to be fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 tunnel destination is going to be 192.168.1.2 and the tunnel mode IPsec IPv4 and tunnel protection IPsec profile is going to be VTI exit hop onto router R2 interface tunnel 0 IP unnumbered fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 you can see here and the tunnel source is going to be fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 tunnel destination is going to be 192.168.1.1 tunnel mode IPsec IPv4 and tunnel protection IPsec profile is VTI exit that is it uh, we just need to verify if the tunnel is active if the VPN connection is active so I'm going to say show crypto session and there you can see the session is up and running show crypto session there you go thanks for watching